Munster National next then three miles this one top one is Kerry's girl John Morgan Wada smiles for Darren Thompson Jace Doll Stool James Shea Florence Nightingale Paul Rolls take the knee Ryan Tanasevi Siram Graham Clutterbuck Cadbean Ryan Costello Dun City Family Alex Cherry Radi and David Hooley Large Moon Jim Murray Gypsy King Alex Cherry and nothing much Ryan Costello just got to be in there away and racing and Large Moon is the first to show as they get to the first ditch which they've all got to do the side of pretty safely and making their way down towards the second and if they go as quickly as I had to go to get all those names in before the card disappeared they'll be doing okay so Radia Moon is the leader and the rain is coming down this is a it's called a national it's the monster national but it's only three miles so it's pretty short for a national isn't it so Radia is the leader already opened up by a good four or five to Florence Nightingale in second and then Syrah and Kerry's Gill, but as we saw in the previous race, we've got a leader out clear and then about six in a line. Seems to be the norm at the moment to have that sort of racing formation. And Radia will be hoping to do a little better than its stable might do in the last race. It was going really well in the lead until it started making the odd mistake. Right down on the rail, then. Radia is clear by six get to the second of the 15 which they're all safely over as well and large moon is just second Siram is third then Cad Bean as they take fence number three which they're all over take the knee is just the back marker but Radia is clear Siram large moon and Kerry's Gill second third and fourth one or two slow jumps there including the leader and Cherry's two are running Pretty close together as they get over number five. A uh, mistake there by the grey Wada Smiles. In the next ditch. And there's a fall there, nothing much has gone. So one of Ryan Costello's is out. And Radia is the leader. Right, five or six lengths to Jay's Doll Stall, who's now got into second. See the white face of Large Moon poking into third with Kerry's girl on that one's inside. Trying to burst between them is Siram from around the outside. Gypsy King, Florence Nightingale is tucked in behind them. Around this near side, Cad Bean, the grey behind it is wider smiles and take the knees on that one's inside. And Dan City Family is on the inside of that one as they make their way towards the next, which is fence number seven. Got over that one okay, with the exception of Gypsy King, who unshipped the pilot on the outside. Just over jumped a little bit as they get to the next one, which is a ditch. And they're all over that one okay, but I said Radia, they're still in front. They come up past the stand then. They've got another circuit to go yet. And Radia will be hoping to be in that position next time round. Good five length lead over Cyram in second. Large Moon in third and Jay's Doll Stall in fourth. Then comes Kerry's Gill, take the knees, making a forward move. So is, so is Wada Smiles. Then Cad Bean, Florence Nightingale, and finally Dan Silly Family. But they're all close enough, if good enough at this stage. With Radia, the clear leader, then the rest of them are pretty tightly grouped. And Radia, plowing a lone furrow in the lead, then leading by three to Large Moon second. And Siram third and Jay's Doll still fourth. Then you've got Cad Bean and Kerry's Gurn and Wilder Smiles in a line with Take the Need just a little bit behind them on the outside and then took back in on the inside. Two together again. Dan City Fami and Florence Nightingale as they get over the next one. And a good jump there by Siram in second. So that one get a little bit closer to the leader. They're inside the final mile now. And he's gone. The leader's gone. Radia stood right off that one, gave the jockey absolutely no chance at all. So he's out of the race, and that's left Siram and Large Moon disputing the lead as they come to this next one. And over that one, it was Siram who landed in front. Kerry's girl on the outside looks to be going well. Large Moon going well on the inside as they take this next one as well. That's on Kerry's girl, was the one that made the mistake. 
creeping up there ever closer there is Cadbean this is a wide open race now as they take the 13th that's the third from home and they're all safely over that one and there's only about three lengths between the entire field Alex Cherry's horse dancing in family is going to get stuck behind that loose horse but he's still within two lengths of the lead this is going to be a really exciting finish I think there's still five furlongs to go and still two to jump and take the knee has come round the outside to dispute the lead with Kerry's girl large moons on the inside Dan Silly family has now got a clear run Cadbean is next Siram has dropped back a little bit Florence Nightingale's trying to work her way through and Wadia Smiles is trying to go the long way around they're racing now towards the final two fences and it's Kerry's girl in the lead take the knee looks to be going best on the outside back in third is large moon then comes Cadbean they come down towards the second and last then now and it's take the knee in front Take the knees, hit the front, and it's quickly gone a length and a half up as he raced down towards the second last. Take the knees, stood off it, Kerry's girl jumped it better, large moon back in third. Suddenly the race is changing, they're starting to spread out again. And take the knee has taken the race by storm and comes to the final fence, gets over it, gets away from it well. There's a further and a half running. Take the knee looks to be going well. Doesn't look like anything's going to get anywhere near this one. Take the knee, jockeys a little look round. Seems that the pursuers are both being driven along and hard ridden. They race now down towards the final half furlong a race that looked like it was going to be a bunch finish has turned into a procession and take the knee is going to take this one pretty cosily and up towards the line take the knee wins it Kerry's girl is going to be second then large moon and jay's gone stall and widely smiles and siram and done silly funny after that cad bean ended up last but what would have happened if radir hadn't have crashed out winning the lead Difficult to say it would have beaten Take the Knee because that one looks to have taken that one pretty cosily in the end. So Take the Knee takes it for Ryan Tamasebi, Kerry's Girl for John Morgan second, Large Moon Jibbury third, Jay's Doll Stall for James Shabbos fourth, and Wider Smiles for Darren Thompson was fifth.